was, I have to say, it was incredibly, it was like a massive honor. It was overwhelming when I looked out at how many people were here. I just thought, wow, I think, I think we have effectively delivered the message that this is Alberta's government. And uh, the number of people that came to participate in it stood in the sun. It was a rather long ceremony. I, I'm, I'm incredibly honored. What did you want to do a ceremony like this? It, you know, for, for us, it, it really is about opening up the legislature and opening up accountability and uh, making the government of Alberta meaningful to Alberta again. And so we felt that a good first start was to have this kind of uh, swearing in so people could see a little bit about, you know, what it looks like and, and, and feel more ownership. Can you tell me that cabinet is only 12 ministers? Are you confident enough that they'll be able to get the work done? Absolutely. I think, you know, we, we need to uh, focus in on, uh, on the work that needs to be done. We need to do it uh, with uh, deliberation and and, uh, and and strength. And I think this particular crew will be very good at that. Um, you know, as, as the months and the years unfold, we might review the size of the cabinet. But at this point, in terms of focusing in our priorities and making sure that we get the job done right, uh, I'm very confident that this is a good cabinet. How are you going to meet at the status of the it is absolutely new. It's been really important to me uh, ever since I've been elected. Uh, we, it, you know, you can have formal equality throughout the province, and then you can have the real thing. And, and we have some gaps that we need to fill in Alberta, and we need a government that understands ensuring that uh, women's rights are, are addressed and, and the, 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 the outcomes that, that women experience across the province are, are fair. What do you the focus on? I'm going to leave that to my minister to come up with the plan. Premier, how are you going to meet the expectations, Premier? Pardon me? Can you tell us about the balance? Well, I felt, I mean, you know, it was a tough job because we have a, a caucus for a great deal of depth, I have to say, and it was, there was a lot of people. I could have created a whole second cabinet from that group that was up, up there today with me. And, and so it was a lot of work. It was important for there to be equity. There was important to have a, a broad regional representation um, and, uh, and people with some experience in senior administrative uh, roles, uh, for the most part, who uh, um, understand their areas. So I, I think that we've achieved that balance. I'm very confident. Premier, how are you going to meet all the expectations? Well, he's very interested in the area. Uh, he's, uh, you know, spent a lot of time uh, doing that kind of thing for the city of Calgary. It's uh, something that he cares a great deal about, and uh, I also believe it's important to have a good, uh, strong voice from Calgary that's uh, at, in that senior level, so that uh, you know we'll be working together, he and I, as we start, start mapping out the structure of our budget going forward. And I felt that that was uh, he would be a good choice. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, our first priority will be, oh, oh, I can't even remember now. I have a very long agenda. It's two <laughs> days. Uh, there are, uh, I can't remember what's first on the agenda. Yeah. No, no, no. There's, there's a lot of stuff that we need to get work on uh, and getting ourselves moved up on a number of different, in a number of different ways for the session that begins uh, two weeks later. So um, we'll be... Um, that we'll be looking at, uh, I believe, some education issues, and uh, we'll be looking at some support. Do you think you've seen some online criticism of that already? Do you think you've obstructed it from the regional balance? Uh, you know, it would have been nice to get it absolutely mathematically correct. We have a strong team from Calgary, so that is good. But I also, you know, we I have uh, a four, there's four incumbents in Edmonton already, and uh, it was important to me to also ensure other you know, gender balance and other issues. So uh, going forward, uh, we'll see if, if uh, this properly reflects the, the regional balance, and, and we'll continue to work with it if necessary. Thank you.